Good morning, y'all. I say good morning because it is about 7.30 on Saturday morning here in South Alabama. And it's actually 60-something degrees. And I'm cold. <laughs> I love it. But I still have to get used to it cooling off some. So, this morning, I am going to be making banana pudding. We've got some family coming over today to my grandmother's. Dad's making chili and Lisa. And I'm making banana pudding and some grilled cheese sandwiches to go with the chili. So, of course, got my bananas and Cool Whip. Got some milk in the refrigerator, some sweet and condensed milk, some cream cheese here, and I was a little lazy on getting it out to start softening because it needs to soften and be at, you know, room temperature before you put it in the mixer to start beating it. So, something I found on the internet to make it um, warm up or get to room temperature a little faster is to cut it up into squares and let it sit out. So, while I did that, I wrote the recipe down in my little book here, and my handwriting is awful. I would blame it on college, but my handwriting was bad before college, so I can't put it completely on that. But I will take a picture of this recipe and put it on here so y'all can see it. It's really simple. I'm not doing banana pudding from scratch. I'm doing banana pudding that uses instant jello might call that cheating but that's what i'm doing this morning and as long as it tastes good it's okay don't get started appreciate y'all also like i said it's about 7 30 and i need uh, whoops. my coffee and yeah, it's cool outside and I'm still drinking cold coffee because these things are life. Got another case of them right here that's just waiting for me to finish these. I'll order them bulk <laughs> off Black Rifle Coffee's website online. You can find them at some gas stations too. But the Cool Whip is also supposed to be so thawed out some. So I left both of those out while I was writing the recipe down in my little book here and I wrote it down because all I've got is a screenshot of it on my phone and I wanted it where I can read it while I'm recording for y'all off my phone. Step one, all the cream cheese, those in a bowl. Definitely been softened. And you take a mixer and you beat it together till it's soft and fluffy. This is why you want it at room temperature and soften. See how big of a mess I can make with this thing. A whole stick of cream cheese and I love cream cheese so I really want to leak that now. Now we're gonna add in the sweet and condensed milk. I love this stuff. I'm getting hungry already. Mm. I could lick it. Pudding mix. Like I said we're not doing this from scratch kind. We're doing the kind that uses instant pudding mix. Sorry, y'all. For one, we don't have time for all that this morning. And I'm a simple person, so. I've got my phone rigged up here, so I'm kind of waiting any minute on this thing to fall. But 
four cups of milk. And 100% have my phone on a little tripod pointing down in my cabinet. <laughs> so, enjoy. Four cups of milk, a lot of milk, and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. So if y'all were paying close enough attention, then y'all saw that where I had my phone propped up up here, it fell and almost fell in the mix. So I think that I'll just record from here and y'all are just not gonna have to get as cool a camera angles sorry stay in the life <laughs> all fit in this bowl. Nine by thirteen pan. Start with vanilla wafer. Vanilla wafers. Step two, see bananas. Then you layer in half the pudding mix now you repeat and you layer in vanilla wafers again then bananas then the other half of pudding mix so going in fast motion again for y'all Now, I'm going to add in the rest of the Cool Whip. So, it's my banana pudding. Now you cover it and put it in the refrigerator until you're ready to serve it. And we all know that I'm not a good cook, if you can even call this cooking, or anything of that sort, but this is a very easy recipe for people like me who can't hardly cook. So, hope y'all enjoy. Appreciate y'all.